Oh. All right, what the fuck? Let me see those shoes. Those are nice. What brand are those? Nike. Now, what the fuck's the matter with you? Do you know where they make fucking Nikes? This is fucking crazy. This gets me fucking going. If you're buying fucking Nikes, if you're buying fucking Adidas, you're a fucking idiot. Just like fucking Major League Baseball is an idiot. Just like fucking PGA are fucking idiots. The NBA are fucking idiots. This is fucking crazy, you stupid fucking morons. Do you know that a fucking man, watch the fucking accordion. All right, now you got to get a shot of the accordion. Get a fucking shot of the accordion. Look at me, you fucking stupid motherfuckers. You stupid fucking motherfuckers. You're so politically fucking dumb. A man or a woman could walk in to a Nike factory in the United States of America, put in 40 hours, maybe get some goddamn overtime, come home, have the other parent, preferably the mother at home, but that's me. I don't care. Could be the other gay guy. I don't give a fuck. One person working. One person home. Okay? Sorry, daycare industry. Take it on the chin a little bit. There'll still be stupid cocksuckers out there. You raise your fucking kid. You even get a vacation. If you work a side job, maybe you have a little vacation house. You know what? Don't tell me that was yesterday and don't ever fucking say back in the fucking day to me. Because nobody knows what the fuck. You never should say back in the day. Unless you've lived through a world war or you lived through a fucking depression. Okay? And believe me, what we're going through now ain't a fucking depression. I never say back in the day unless to point out what a complete, utter fucking hypocrite you are if you say back in the fucking day. A bigger fucking hypocrite you are when you buy fucking products that aren't made in the United States. And if you're gonna be an asshole and buy Nike and Adidas, go to a fucking Goodwill store, get the same fucking shoe for two bucks, which is exactly what they're paying the fucking mud hut people in there to fucking make them. And that's why they're over there. And we call that free enterprise and we call that capitalism. You are so fucked up. The last cock you suck should either be Bill O'Reilly's Rush Limbaugh with Sean Hannity's hairy fucking head stuck up your fucking asshole. You fucking morons. Read the fucking history of the fucking American labor movement. Get a fucking clue. What the fuck do you think this president's trying to do? He's trying to put the fucking country back where it belongs. Assholes, we don't make anything anymore. And what little we make, we fucking outsource to other fucking countries or we bring them in here. And you know why? Because we blame the fucking unions. No, because we want the fucking slave days back. That's what we fucking want. You better wake up, American worker, because you're taking it on the fucking chin, okay? We don't buy anything, and we don't make anything. Remember? We were built on the principle Yankee ingenuity. Remember that fucking thing? Oh, yeah, America, you buy American razor. Oh, American TV, I oh, have American knife. I kill you with it. We used to make everything, and people bought it. Then we had enough money, and we started buying shit. And we used to make shit, and we used to buy shit. Make and buy, make and fucking huh? You know what? We don't fucking make anything, and we don't fucking buy anything. And you know, the next fucking knock on the fucking door you hear is going to be the fucking Chinese. And it ain't going to be for your fucking delivery. Assholes. Get the fuck out of my sight. Get out of my sight. That's a rave from the fucking cave. Smarten the fuck up. If you listen to these fucking morons, at least...
counterbalance it. If you're listening to fuck, if you're getting your news from Bill O'Reilly, read a fucking newspaper, fucking Anvil Head, or listen to public broadcasting. I'm not saying you have to listen to it, because you see, I listen to the fucking morons that you are swearing by, and it's frightening. These people are idiots. They're fucking morons. And if you don't listen to something else, you're going to turn into a fucking drone. And before you fucking know it, fucking Rush Limbaugh is going to grow a little fucking mustache. And there he's going to be on a fucking podium. You fucking idiots. Yeah, go out. Buy some Nike. Buy some fucking... Yeah, baseball. American pastime. Nike fucking glove. Nike fucking shoes. Hey, great. Smarten the fuck up. If I was a fu if I was fucking Tiger Woods, and I love Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is one. When I, when I grew up with fucking Nicholas, I grew up with uh, all greats. Get fucking Tiger just blew everybody out of the water. If I was Tiger Woods, I would say, you know what? I ain't endorsing anything that ain't built in America. <laughs> wow. Then you know what they'd have to do? They'd have to kill him, like they do with racehorses, like they do with Barbara. Well, we had to put him down. We had to put poor Tiger down. Just refused to eat his American Express commercial. I had to put him down. Pain to show. After that, fucking Tiger going, if it ain't me in your neighborhood, kid, I ain't gonna wear it. Roll models. Get the fuck out of here. You should know better. For coming back, I'll blow your fucking head up, puss fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here.